Hi, welcome to Film Flush. Where good films float on top, and the bad films get flushed. <laughs> One thing that Alfonso does really well is like, even though his movies are like really big things, like Children of Man was about like no person on Earth being able to give birth or whatever, and gravity is set in space, but the heart of his stories are very humane and this coaxes a very um, strong performance out of Sandra Bullock. And yeah, her character, basically she has kind of like nothing to live for, so at some point in the movie, she considers like just giving up. But the movie is really about how do you fight off all this mm. adversity and like just go for it like with a new start. I think it's uh, one of the most strongest performances since The Blind Side. Uh, she really carries the weight of the film throughout throughout the whole movie. And uh, like like what you said, there are some parts where she's very strong will and the sub, some parts and then she's very weak. What she does very well in this movie, she can evoke the reaction mm. of you. You're very sympathetic towards her and you kind of like feel everything she's going through. And like, this movie is not too long, it's like 90 plus minutes like, but at the end of it, she's just so tired because like she goes through so much mm. in the movie. What, what I like about her performance was in the, the third act where she there's this dialogue with, her, with herself and uh, I won't spoil it. It, which is kind of a, a very a subtle yet kind of heartbreaking cry for survival. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, that was that that deserves itself deserves an Oscar nod. Yeah. Well, in so in any any in any uh what normal film without special effects that would that would get an Oscar nod. But you know how the Academy thinks. I hope the special effects thing doesn't like detract from yeah. this movie because. Like the movie isn't really about the special effects, even though like they're amazing and really breathtaking to look at. But yeah, that, that was like a rocky kind of movie, pep talk, and then she just like goes out and does the thing. And yeah, it's just a really good performance from her. And of course, George Clooney as well, who's is really cool and a really brave actor. He's he's typical. Well, George Clooney as the commander. Kowalski, the, 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 the pilot, he's typical Clooney, like, yeah, charming. It, it's always like playing himself yeah. sometimes, but... There's, there's hints of Danny Ocean in there, you know, you can, can you <laughs> yeah. see when he's trying to be funny. And yeah. he, he kind of lifts the movie a bit out of the seriousness. Yeah, he brings some humour to the table here. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why I'm watching it. so good. Gravity is one of the reasons why we go to the cinema. And it's the future of cinema, you know, how how 3D can be utilised properly and how what filmmakers should look out for. It's a thing with cinema because like every time you're like pushing boundaries mm. and then the boundary was like broken in like the 70s when special effects mm. started and then special effects got better and better and then we're like left thinking like what else is there to do and then gravity comes along and it's like just oh my god like you feel like you're actually going through the movie and it evokes like a few feelings that I feel like every movie should try to evoke wonder, mm -hmm. some sense of fear, and at the same time you're just so enthralled by everything that's going on. And one more thing you forgot, you're entertained. Yes, you're that's entertained. The, that's the most, most important point of watching a movie, to be entertained. When the credits roll and you're thinking, man, I need to watch this again, and that's I think is the mark of a really good movie. Definitely is one of the best movies this year. So I guess it's a float, I guess? Yeah, it's a float. Yeah. Where do you get the helmet anyway? NASA. You know you know the guys at NASA? I work at NASA. Aren't they close? Like the government just shut down yesterday, right? Yeah. Oh, that means I'm on break, dude. Come on. You stole the suit? They're not gonna pay me, I'm on unpaid leave, so this is collateral. Un unethical, never hire a Singaporean. And that's it for Film Flash, we'll see you around.